Hi there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? Now let's get on with today's review. I wanted to review this HCSB note-taking Bible published by Holman. And I actually have two of these. Well, I don't personally have two of them, but my daughter has one in a purple cloth bound uh, board. Like it's that kind, but it's a really pretty purple linen and it has silver on the edge and silver uh, gilt on the pages. And then this one is the one I wanted to review. And this is called the Leather Look in British Tan. Isn't that fancy? So um, don't be too impressed because I got it at deep, deep discount because it had, it was out of the box, out of the cover, and it had all these lovely scuffs and scrapes on the gilted edging and then the ribbon was just falling apart so I changed out the ribbons in another video so for today we are going to cover these items and if you were interested in knowing just having a, a snapshot you can take one of this but I'm going to be covering the items in this review and so just have those kind of printed up here as a checklist for me to go through so when you open it up you've got this wonderful area that you can color and i'm going to also show you this one at the same time it's got the same exact print there and then it has this presentation page that my daughter colored and no one wrote on her presentation page which is just sad and uh so anyway but we did actually give that to her and then it has this title page, which might be a little hard to see. There you go. And I believe she colored a little part of that. So you've got a, a, a lot of coloring types of drawings. Both of these were printed in 2016 by Holman. And I'm going to show you. Da, 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 da. It's kind of weird doing two Bible reviews at the same time. So there we go, 2016, if you can see that publishing. And then also this was printed in Korea. So uh, not China. I know some people have um, just inherent issues with that, but this one was printed in Korea as was this other one. Uh, in fact, it has kind of the same markings there. So these were printed by the publisher, uh, which is Holman Bible Publishers in Nashville, Tennessee. So both of these have, have the same stuff. So I'm gonna just set this one to the side, uh, but it does have a nice cardstock to it. And oh, I was gonna point this out though. She's having the same issue as that other one did, and she was smart and tied a knot. So it looks kind of pretty there. But if you get one of these, make sure that you are sealing, like heat sealing this ribbon. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a absolutely frayed ribbon that you're gonna need to kind of change out. So this is a single column margin Bible. So it has these really nice wide margins and wouldn't you know it, I did not grab my ruler, so I'll do that. Okay, so we have a wide margin and the margin comes in, I'm not right there at camera edge, at two, actually it's a little bit bigger than two, it's like two and a quarter, which is nice. And you also are gonna get about um, 600 to 650 line illustrations. So they're, they're very, very interesting if you wanna take a look through this. I, that's the part that I like. So you can actually um, go through and color in these. Uh, but then there's also these like sketches of just leaves and different borders. Um, and they call it like filigree. So you have really pretty art and even kind of broken up like this so that you can kind of put in your own notes. So you can write your notes, you can color, and that's the beautiful part of this is that it's for the beginning um, Bible journaler, beginning artist. It would be a, a really great, I think, asset um, for somebody like that. And that's one of the reasons we got this for my daughter. 
it is also a really great way to get some inspiration. Here it's calling, you know, the musicians and it has music instruments there printed up. And uh, I think it's just really pretty in the way that it presents itself. So you have a little bit larger than two inch margins. It is a single column read. And then it has a concordance in the back, as well as eight pages of really pretty colored maps. So let me go to the concordance first. Oh, okay, it's got a Bible reading plan. Let me, hang on just a minute, let's, let's start here. Okay, so it says HCSB bullet notes. And so it has some, really like a glossary of terms. And it has here a daily Bible reading plan. So you can do that if you wish to, which is nice. And then there's a concordance. And I believe it's like 40 pages of concordance in here. And then you get to the maps. So here's the first map. This is the migration of Abraham. Then it goes to the route of the exodus or the route of the exodus tribal allotments of israel really pretty antique coloring in these then on this side you have the kingdoms of israel and judah we were just studying that in our bible study palestine at the time of jesus i'm kind of surprised that this bible has so many um of these this is really a cool one and this is the ministry of jesus around the sea of galilee so that's very very nice. And then here's another more detailed look at the Passion Week in Jerusalem. And then finally, the last one is going to be Paul's missionary journeys. And then you have another page here and really not, not many extra pages. So that, that's it. And then you've got, that's the page for the book block, I believe, right there. So um, those are the eight pages of maps. You have a headband and a tailband and again this bible only comes with one ribbon and i changed it out for four so one sad little ribbon marker which here's my daughter's one and you can see the headband and there's that it, it's nice because it does coordinate so it's purple and it has a purple but just one silver ribbon marker the spine is sewn in and so you do have that, so that's that's nice. And then um, this one again is a soft leather look. It's supposed to be more durable. And actually it does have a nicer flexibility, I believe, than this board. And uh, this is very, very stiff. So I think this one would wear better in your Bible bag if you're lugging it back and forth to church. And as I mentioned, about 600 to 650 illustrations. Now the paper, so it has, I think, the similar paper to what is in my Crossway ESV journaling Bible. So about 38, uh, some say 36 GSM, some say 38 GSM. So anywhere from 36 to 38. And I'm going to put that down in the specifications as well. And so you um, end up with that there. And then let's see, does it have red letters? No, it does not okay so here's Jesus and Pontius Pilate so there's no red letters in this one which you know that's that's all right so I have some pros and cons for you the pros here are the cost you can actually pick these Bibles up for fairly cheap they're uh, anywhere I saw online from $15 to 35 I believe so not too expensive in terms of cost they also give you a really nice marriage of note taking, which is, it's called a note taking Bible because it does give you some lines in there. So you can either use that for art or you can uh, take notes in this as well, but you can do both. So it's beginner art for coloring, for note taking. It gives you journal inspirations. I think that's again, the reason why I purchased it is because it gave me a little bit of an idea, like do I wanna maybe draw some of these things or at least color. Sometimes you don't feel like drawing, so you can just color in there. 
and then journaling inspiration actually so you can do daily devotionals in this or you know write your prayer requests or whatever in these massively large margins now the cons the cons it are that it's very very small text so the font is some websites say seven font and some say eight and i just say tiny because it is tiny font I think the paper is fairly thin, but then that's the complaint I had with my uh, Crossway ESB as well. And now I'm going to also tell you, and this is where doing this online is kind of hard, but this thing is pretty heavy. And online it shows it as almost being two and a half pounds. So if you are lugging it back and forth, I would recommend getting this leatherish type of an upgrade on your Bible cover. And other than that, it is actually really pretty with the art and the different types of drawings in here. And I think they really do give you wonderful inspiration. I think they did a beautiful job of putting this Bible together. So with that, I hope that you'll leave some comments down below. And if you like this video, would you just subscribe and then um, hang tight and I will have some more reviews and some more art for you. Until next time, bye.